Hi, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to create the item in Psycho from the template. Okay, so here, this one is the Psycho backend. And after you access into the Psycho, Psycho backend and go to the content tree, you can see this page. Okay, so now here, if I want to create the item here from the an existing template, so how to do it? Okay. Here under the content and home page, you right click on this one and insert. We have insert from item template. Okay, so here it will open a, a dialog which contains the template. Here under the, the sample folder, we have a sample template. Okay, select this one and you can enter the name for the item. I will enter it either on my testing. After that, click on insert button. Okay. You can see here for now a new item with, with the name in my testing has been created under the home. Yeah. Okay, cool. And here you can see after we created new the my testing data here. It will display a warning message. If you publish now, the selected version will not be visible on the website because it is not in the final workflow step. No other version will be published. Okay, so that means for now, if you do the editing data on this page, uh, I, I mean the new page here, my, my testing, and after that, once you complete the, uh, you complete uh, content population for this page and you do the publish and after you publish the content to the web website so if you view, view it on the web page you cannot see the content or also the new item because uh, uh, this page has been created not in any workflow step so you can you cannot publish anything to the website so how to resolve it okay so here you select this one and you go to the navigation click on the review here so here you can see we have a submit button so here you click on submit button and you can do the command so now you, you can also left it by default by not entering anymore and anything here click on ok button okay so after that you click on approve button here to approve approve the the new chain approve okay so after you do the approve the content editing here so the the new item had been the status of new item had been updated that means for now if you do the editing content here and you do publish it to the website so the people uh, when visiting or the website can see the content on this page okay cool so now i will do the editing here for this my editing i click on show edit so editor okay i will type something here this is my first editing for this will add for home Okay, cool. Click on I accept button. Yes. And after that, save it. Okay. The last one, you go to the publish and publish item. Left it by default and publish. Okay. So here, when you see this uh, content here, that means the content has been published successfully on the website. Close it. Okay, cool. And now here you scroll up. In the quick information, we have the item path here. It is under the home. Okay. So now I will open the the content delivery page. I will copy this one. It is should be home slash and my data.
yes here and you can see here for now it will display the content on the my testing page this is of the hero banner this is the default uh, we're getting it from the default template and this is the content my testing this is my first testing hope oh, blah blah here okay cool and so now if you want to edit it you can here I will change it either hello world publish item so when you have any updates for the content in the cycle so you have to do the publish the content to the website in, in to make the, the the visitor can see it on the web page okay if you don't publish anything so the user cannot see the chain yeah hello one okay the content has been updated on this page okay cool so i think that's all for today and after you finish this one you know how to create the new item from the existing template and if we have any warning for the workflow you, you also know how to fix it okay i hope this video will have fun for you and let me know if you see any issue bye bye and see you later